very beginning, it, it seemed like that's where I wanted to go. But I was also interested in music, so there was a struggle between music and art, and it seems like art kind of won out. At one point, I was struggling trying to find a, a, a series that I really want to get into, and I listened to this poem um, by Robert Frost called Road Less Travel, and James Earl Jones was saying this poem on KBBS one time, and, uh, and it kind of stuck in my head, and I kept listening to that phrase, you know, down a road less travel. Um, uh, I, I found this, this road less travel, and it made all the difference. And at that moment, I turned around the corner, and I got to this alley, and the sun was hitting this alley in a certain way near sunset. And next thing I knew, I saw a painting. You had to go out into the back country to find something to do, but it was right there in my own backyard. And so what happened was I wound up going to different alleys and um, doing some studies, watercolors, little little tiny watercolors on on site. And the next thing I knew, I was uh, I had a whole bunch of little watercolors. Uh, this was like in 1994. By 1999, I was ready to start painting large paintings again and I pulled those little drawings out and, and those little sketches and, and I started a little small series um, of, uh, of watercolors you know just get ready for the fair and um, I decided to do some acrylic paintings and so I did a series of about 15 acrylic paintings of the alley uh, alleys here and the series was called alleys of North Park and it's been that way ever since. Um, I've done alleys from other locations, but as for the main body of work, it's generally been here around this community that I've lived in for the past 15 years. 